you know. War. Always stays the same. So they say. But to me, that's not true. Considering the fact that you see new enemies, new challenges, new obstacles. There's always something lurking around the corner. They just hold it from you. But today, is a new day. And on this road, we don't see glory anymore. We seek violence. So I ask you, do you want to join this road? Or do you want to just watch me silent? Because we have three contestants. And this won't get any easier for either of them. Oh, you think this is supposed to be easy? Nah. This is just begun. For David, for Demarcus, and for Michael. All of them will face different challenges, win different awards, face different obstacles. And do you think that this is just going to just be some farce? It ain't over. Oh, we got a long way to go. On this road, once again, might I remind you, we don't seek glory. We seek violence. And today is a new day. Let your name be forever memorized, sketched in the history books, and shown to the world that you are the Heisman candidate for every single year you play. From here on out, please let it be known. The world won't show you mercy. They won't give you grace. They won't show you love. They won't give you power. You have to take it. to glory. Yo, what's poppin' family? Hey, yo, listen, I know it's been a while, it's been a while, it's been a while, but I am back. And it is time for a new video here on Road to Glory. Now, mind you, yes, new intro, new beginnings. Slash, David Watchson is out here wilding. Okay. Now, mind you, yes, this is the final game of the season. Am I prepared? No. I'm not. But that's not the point, though. The point is. Get ready for Marshall. Yes, you are correct. Get ready for Marshall. 
Randy Moss's old alma mater. You feel me? Now, mind you, this will be a full commentary video, not by me, but by Lee Corsair and Kirk Kirk Street. All right, listen, they got my back this time, got the audio right. We gonna go ahead and get you into this newsletter real quick. Now, mind you, yes, this is a conference clash. And we will roll against the CUSA rival. Now, mind you, they wasn't the only ones. This previous video had it going crazy. But guess what? You was right. Because, uh, 300 views? That's amazing. I am really appreciative of the people, even the ones that don't even subscribe. Uh, y'all come in, y'all pull up, and y'all watch. And I appreciate that the most. I don't care if you subscribe or not. You seen the video and you watched it. And that's all that matters to me. Bruh, this Marshall game? This Marshall game. This Marshall game. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Look, man. There was no way. There was no way that I thought this game was going to end up the way it did. Especially with them having a good safety back end of their defense which is one of the reasons why their defense is at a C plus like like let's be real the rest of the defense ain't really all that amazing they do have one good corner they also do have one good safety in the back end I almost dropped my phone they do have one good safety in the back end but man all in all when it comes to having uh, conference uh, games they are all Always tough, always, because you're fighting against the same exact person as you, except that they may have a different person here, or a different person here, or a different person here, an impact player here. Like it's 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 pretty much a mirror face-off between you and your conference rival, dog. Like, I mean, there there is no other way that I can put it. Like when, when the intro said this was war, like no, nah, we really meant that for real, because these next two conference games. Including the uh, because of course, I mean, I'm 11 and 0, so of course, I'm gonna be vying for the um, conference championship. It's gonna be nothing but rivalry games, pretty much. Like, like, like let's keep it real. But let's also keep it real on the fact that this man keep getting snubbed, dog. Yes, he keep getting snubbed for the Heisman Trophy. Now, the reason why I keep bringing that up is because look at this, man. This man got 164 completions out of 254 attempts. 3,000 yard season back to back, by the way. Yes, back to back. This is sophomore year, dog. He did it last year. He broke the school record. He did it this year again. Blah, 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 blah. He did it again this year. 3,000. 3,000 on their head top. Come on, man. The only reason why he is not up there isn't because of the interceptions like most people think it's because of the touchdown ratios he only has 20 that is not good look at this quarterback right here quarterback number five out of michigan bro he don't have as many or as near as david washington when it comes to yards and he has more attempts than david washington way more attempts and his passer rating is not as good as his and he's got the same amount of range as interceptions. And it's about the same 55 to 65% clip from completion rate. But his touchdowns is the only difference. This man has 33. David Washington only has 20. That is the only reason why you do not see David Washington in the top five candidates. You will see him in the top 15. But you will not see him in the top five. Mostly just because of turnovers. Mostly just because of turnovers and touchdowns. Those are your main two reasons why you would never see that. It's sad, but it is what it is. Um, yes, we are now at 22, which you probably were seeing earlier. We are now ranked at 22. It was 25 last week, but now we are at 22. Now, after this game, will they get raised up to 21? Who knows? Me, I know. But that's not the point, though. The point is... They still only rank at 22 and they are 11 and 0. 
but it's because they're not a powerhouse is the only reason why they won't get ranked past top two. But let's go ahead and get you to the players of the week, man. Of course, you got these dope players, of course, the left outside linebacker and a half back from these two schools are just fantastic, bro. Like there is no way, there is no way impossible that you can just think that, oh no, nah, they not getting up. No, no, it's them. It's them for real. It's them for real. They the ones, dog. Stop playing with their name. But let's go ahead and get you to this broadcast, though. Stop playing. Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. There's a chill in the air tonight, but it probably won't adversely affect either squad. Get ready for the Marshall Thundering Herd and the Memphis Tigers. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Tigers. The Tigers are definitely the favorites in this one. How do you think this will play out, Kirk? Memphis comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame. We're going to blow him out, Hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. I agree with you on this one. Memphis is going to win this football game. <laughs> All right, folks, you heard the coach's pick. Now let's head down to the field for the coin toss. What do you think the keys to this offense are today? I think the success of this offense is going to depend on how well the offensive line protects the quarterback today. Because we all know, Kirk, if you give this kid too much time, you've got trouble. Yeah, this guy can direct an offense better than just about anybody in the country. We should see some good things from him today. What an arm. Well, here the quarterback throws it to a spot. You can tell that the quarterback and receivers work over and over on this. He may not impress you with style points, but that time he shows off a big arm and delivers a bullet right there. We've got a first and ten. I'm about to rip somebody's ass. Uh -huh. Line up with six defensive backs. I'm about to whip somebody's ass. Washington drops the throw. Moves up in the pocket. Feeling the pressure. Got him again. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, just want to get the ball in his hands, let him do the work. This time, my friend, that was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field out there. First it's first and ten. Yeah. Memphis in a four-wide set. They come. Surveys the field. He passes it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. Well, that Kirk, he was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. Second and ten. This defense is in the dime. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. The Tigers are lining up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Drilled as he throws. And he throws it away. the 42. It's first down. Washington with three wide receivers. Looking. Rolls to the left. He's taken off. 
and he's shoved out of bounds at the 28. Well, guys, he's scrambling around out there, and they're having a lot of trouble bringing him down. Hey, the secondary did their job in coverage, but they just couldn't contain the quarterback. That's no easy task either, Coach. This guy has some pretty good feet, as we saw in that play. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Down, look at the throw. He's rolling left. He guns it. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down at the 16. They're moving the ball very well on this drive, guys. Yep, the defense is preventing the deep ball, but the problem is they can't stop the short stuff. And the offense seems to be building a little bit more momentum on every play. First and 10. Ball on the 16. Memphis. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He drops back. Oh, He's oh, under pressure. Oh, oh. Looks. There he goes. Yes. Touchdown, Memphis. He was scrambling for his life. Now, that's just great coverage by the defense because the quarterback did a nice job to tuck that one and run. You're right, Kirk. The defense was too worried about his arm. They forgot about his running ability. Boston. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 33. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Gives it up the middle. Not a very successful run that time, Coach. Did you see his explosion off the defensive line? Woohoo! It seemed like he was in the backfield before the ball was even snapped. He just timed the snap count there. It really made a nice play. The defense is playing the pass on this one. He gets another carry. Nope. Gets past the tackler. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Number two picks up two yards with the carry. It's third and nine. Memphis goes with the ace set here. Washington drops back. He's looking. Rolls to the right. Hey, yo, what the, the middle. Fuck? Takes off the tackle. Brought down at the 47-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. First and 10. Ball in their own 47. The Tigers are lining up with three receivers. Washington on first down. He wants it all going long. That's incomplete. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent Vince. the completion. Sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Vince. That'll make it second down. Second it's second and ten. And ten. Memphis lines up in a shotgun set. He's looking to pass. Looks. He rolls out to the left. And now he's going to improvise. He goes out of bounds at the 31. And it's plays just like that one that make him such a nightmare for defense. And that's why he's so tough to defend. You've got everybody covered downfield, and he just takes off with all that speed. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number two, the lone back. Nice play fake. He looks. And he's got all the time in the world. Rolls right. Fires. Oh, yeah. Bubbles the ball. Really, nigga. Picks up the loose ball. Oh. Nice time for a fumble recovery. What do you think, Lee? That's just what the doctor orders. A turnover here could be a huge momentum swing. The offense will take over at the 21. 
The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Washington drops back. He's looking. He's rolling right. Sheds that one. He gets rid of this one. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. Mop! Oh, oh, he didn't even try to hide it there. That was a blatant holding call. They'll call that every time. First They'll line ball. up at the 11. It's first down. Yeah. From the gun. Yeah. Rolling out to the left side. Looks. He throws left. Got it to him on the run. And he's all the way down to the 40-yard line. It looked like they might have been on the play fake that time. Yeah, but you got to give the credit to the quarterback here. Not only does he sell the run, but he delivers a beautiful ball that time. All the receiver had to do was watch it in his hands. Great throw. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Washington comes to the line with three wide. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Yeah, great upfield rush here by the defensive end. He comes around and manages to get his hands on the ball carrier. That's a terrific play. From their own 36-yard line. Second down, 14 coming up here. Four wide. And it off. Bounces off a would-be tackler. He breaks a second tackle. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. They line up at the 36. Third and 14. The Tiger line up with five receivers. Washington back to pass. He steps up, fires deep down the left side. He got it! And they bring him down. 21. This kid just continues to impress us with his ability to catch the football. He's already gone over 100 yards here in the first half. Now, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. The Tiger set up in the gun. Play action. Looking. He rolls out to the right. Flips it. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 21. So it's second and 10. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Washington with the play fake. Looks. They'll make the sack. So another third down facing the offense. And this one is third and long. Ace backfield. Drops back to pay. He's going left. And it's incomplete. Great play. That's how you make someone drop the football. Let them know you're there, and then, wow, put your pads on them. That's the way you make it hard to catch the ball. I will say that. I agree. Wait, and what? it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. What's good, Yeah, I know you're going to Washington, back to throw. He looks ah, no. going deep, lays it out there. <laughs> no, you don't talk. Number one, hauls it in for the touchdown. Another touchdown. Why not? This just goes to show you that there's more to playing defense than emotion. You can't continuously play out of position like this. You're going to find yourself in a lot of mismatches. And today, those mismatches have turned into touchdowns. Four linebacker. Fakes to the back. Looking. Throws. This one is incomplete. Can you blame the receiver for dropping that ball? Nah, but you could blame the quarterback for putting in a spot for him to get hit like that. On the stat sheet, that'll be a drop. But there should be an asterisk next to that one because he took a pretty big hit. 
from their own eight-yard line. Second down. Number two, alone in the backfield. Big dog, big dog. Three, six, three, inside four. Down right. Cut. Washington steps back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And he's tackled at the 15-yard line. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Yeah. Memphis goes with the ace set here. Scramble. Easy play there. The receivers run the defenders off, and all the quarterback has to do is run to the vacant spot on the field. And don't forget about the awareness of the quarterback recognizing the coverage and having the courage to tote it downfield. First down. Three man front defensively. Washington drops back to pass. Looks. He's looking for his man. Finds his receiver. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. 40. What? What the fuck? Mother! Good call. Yeah, he practically brought him to the ground there. Fricks! It's first down. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. The defense jumped, but I think a lineman moved first. Offside. Only defense. Five Still and the defense down. gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. Washington off the fake. Looking. Here comes the pressure. No, He's taken off. Not me. Look at the strength. He's taken down at the 27. They line up at the 27. Second down, 10 yards to go. Three wideouts here. They hand it off. He just tackle made at the 29. That'll be a two-yard gain. From their own 29-yard line. It's third down. Marshall brings in their nickel package. Washington drops back to pass. Going up to the right side. Tipped away. I like that. The big fellow getting up to knock the ball down. Yep, on third down, you got to do anything you can to prevent the completion. So he got his hands in the air and he batted it away, Coach. All right, this is a tough kid. He can beat you in a lot of different ways. First and 10. Ball on 24. Marshall lines up with five defensive backs. He drops back, looks, rolls to the right, throws it. And really, this nigga? Falls incomplete. Kirk, how was that? He just dropped it, coach. Plain and simple. That was an abominable drop. Yeah, I'm not sure what it means, but it just sounds bad. <laughs> Washington with three wide receivers. Washington with the give. Stop He's the cap. Away. And down he goes at the 24. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third down, 10 yards to go. Going with the shotgun here. Look at the throw. He's looking. Rolls to the left. He airs it out. The ball is dead. That might have had a shot. 
down on the first there. Yeah, but the defense was waiting for the pass and got a hand on it. Great job to force the fourth down right there. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 33. Washington with four wide receivers. Give to the tailback. He gets it. He's tackled at the 44. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. They'll throw on first down. He's rolling left. He takes off. Brought down at the 48-yard line. We've got a second and two. Ball right around midfield. They come out with four wide out. to throw. Go he wants it all going long. Excuse me, motherfucker. He's all the way down to the eight-yard line. This receiver has gained tons of yards all season long. And he's now getting close to the single season school record for receiving yards. This guy is a tremendous athlete. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Memphis 27, Marshall 7. It's first and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. Washington, back to pass. He rolls out to the left, looking. He takes off, and it pays off. Touchdown. This guy's had a great season, fellas. It's a very good run to get it into the end zone. Hey, that's his hip. Let's get out of this one. That doesn't surprise me, Coach. This kid's been in the end zone every single week. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. A herd come out in a 34 defense. Here's the option. He took him out of his shoe. So he gets maybe a yard on the option. From their own 21-yard line. It's second down and nine to go. Memphis lines up for the shotgun set. Washington drops the throw. Looking. He gets rid of this one. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. 15 yards Man, that's not one. That ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. That was definitely a late hit. He could have easily got out of the way. Instead, he just ran right through him. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 36. The Tigers line up with four wideouts. Washington to the air on first down. Rolls right. Wait Excuse me, motherfucker. And it's going the other way. Taken down at the 33. Nice interception. Too bad they weren't playing like this to start the day. Yeah, their defense took a little too long to get into this football game. But don't give up on them, you guys. Not yet. They're still playing football out there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Nickel defense. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Washington set to go to the air. Didn't let that happen to me, though. He's in trouble. He's looking. No one open, so he's gonna run. Washington steps out at the 24. It's second down. Six yards to go. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Looks to pass. Looks. He's rolling right. And he throws it away. Great. 
We've got a third and six. Look for this quarterback to make a play here. Washington drops back to back. He throws it. He got it. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. A lot of great receivers have played here, but nobody has ever gained the two receiving yards in one season. Uh, this guy does it all against any defense. He's arguably the best receiver to ever play at this school. And I wouldn't be surprised to see this kid breaking all kinds of NCAA records before he's finished playing. He's a super football player. Congratulations on the record. First down. Memphis comes out with five receivers. They'll throw on first down. Steps up, feeling the pressure. Batted away. You know, the quarterback didn't do anything wrong there. This is just a great play defensively. I think he underestimated the speed of the defensive player. He just shot in and broke it up. They line up in the shotgun. Inside give. Gets that one. And he's level at the 17. And what a big hit by that defender. He laid a lick into him. Memphis comes to the line with three wide. to the left side. Washington X. delivers. So he drags his feet and picks up the first down. This wasn't the best pass we've ever seen from this quarterback, but his receiver certainly could have saved him by making a wonderful catch. You can put the ball anywhere near this guy, and he'll usually catch it, Coach. First down and goal to go. Memphis comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Touchdown. A halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive line was just can't keep the defense on that. It's first down. The thundering herd. Line up in a 3-4. Washington hands it off. He's hit and got away. Brought down at the 33-yard line. Number two gets three yards on the carry. It's second down. Number two, the lone back. On the ground with the tailback. He's taken down at the 30. Just about three yards there. From the 30-yard line. Third down. This is the kind of quarterback that's more than capable of picking up the first down here. Washington drops back. He's going left. Tackle made at the 14-yard line. The screen play worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. They line up in the shotgun. One thirty-three. He shoots him, can't wrap him up. These tackles at the 11, three yards there on the play. From the 11-yard line. Memphis lines up with three receivers. Washington hands it off, missed tackle. Hey, yo, what the fuck? And down he goes at the five-yard line. Just a minute, folks, there's a penalty on that play. Personal foul, base mask on the defense. First down. It looked like he was holding on for dear life there, Coach. He'll pay for it, too. 15 yards and some lip from his coach. They're in the red zone. Ball on the two-yard 
Memphis comes to the line, only one man in the back. Oh, He's in, another touchdown. There's number two on the day. The coach loves to give the football to this running back. You know why? Because he knows how to find the end zone. From their own 29-yard line, first down. Memphis goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Oh, what the Look fuck? Found his man. And guys, that's now over 200 yards receiving on the day for this young fella. Well, he comes up with another big catch here. And to be honest, this defense just doesn't have an answer for this guy. He's been open all game long. There's a flag down, and here's the call. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. 15 yard penalty, first down. Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. Memphis sets up with four receivers. And that's the end of the ball game. What are your final thoughts on this game, Kirk? Well, it looks like we called this one right. Marshall came out as severe underdogs, and they were absolutely demolished by a much stronger, faster, and experienced football team. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Memphis 48, Marshall 7. This is Brad Nessler with Kirk Kirk Street and Lee Corso. We thank you for playing, and we'll see you next time. Okay, look, fam. I know, I know, I know, I know. Crazy blowout. Crazy, crazy blowout. It was a good game, but it was not a great game. I'm sorry, dog. I gotta be critical. I have to be critical. Very, very critical. Very, very critical. Especially with that one interception that really shouldn't happen if the block would have gotten picked up. But we're not gonna get to that. Right now, two touchdowns, one interception. He went over 50%, which is I'm actually surprised about. There was a lot of drops in that game, too. Sacked twice, 387 yards. 52 yards is the longest. It's the longest pass of the game. Now, mind you, the attempts between the two of them wasn't the, really the greatest. And yeah, I should have gave the half back the ball a lot more, but we both ended up getting two rushing touchdowns. That is very, very good, okay? It's very, very good. I appreciate that. It's very, very good. And I'm glad that we are going positive in the rushing yards. They're not negative like we usually are, since this is pretty much a passing team now. Um, they did very, very good with breaking tackles uh, for, their, for their quality in their conference. And nobody fumbled except for Rob Seaver 82. But that's only because he got hit in the, at the middle of his catch in the end zone. That's neither here nor there. Uh, both of them went over um, 100 yards, which is what I was hoping for. And um, I was able to get Rob Seaver number 18 a touchdown, dog. I was able to. All that man recorded was two receptions, bro. All he did was record it two. But they kept leaving number one open. So there was no reason for me to not pass to him. I mean, he, and he is a senior, by the way. So I, I had to. And number 18, he's going to be back. So there is no point in me uh, tossing him the ball the whole game. Like, he's going to get the ball in the playoffs anyway. Especially with the uh, Conference USA Championship coming up next week. Is it next week? I don't know. But this needs to know that. 200 yards and 100 yards for both of my receivers. Halfback really caught that one pass and did a very good job with it. Bro broke that tackle, you feel me? He's real smooth out there today. Broke a, broke a nice helping amount of tackles. Not like in Oregon where my running back is 99 overall, but this man is still a pretty good running back. He can catch, he can run, 
He, he, he's a dual threat. He is. He is. He's a dual threat. So I respect him for it. At least he's not dropping passes like number one is, though. Because number one ain't even supposed to be dropping passes. He not. The man's a 94. No, 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 no. He's a 95 overall, actually. There's no way that he should be dropping passes. But he is. He he is. And it's sad. But he dropped three, I think. I think he dropped three. Yeah, he dropped three. He dropped three passes, dog. That what? Now, nah, one of them. No, 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 no. Two of them was because I threw hospital balls. So, really, he dropped one pass this whole game. I had to think about it. No. He only dropped, he, he only dropped those. And, of course, my linemen, they're going to give up a sack every now and then. Much just because they're not picking up the block. And, uh, overall, though, man, this dude right here, man. If it wasn't for me going off, he would have got player of the game. He would have gotten player of the game. He really would have. He got two interceptions and took one back for a touchdown. There's a reason why he's sacking uh, in the CUSA for last year. Come on now. Like, nah, the boy's nice, okay? He's nice. Plus, he's a junior. He's going to be back next year as well. Like, I'm going to have a pretty decent defense. Well, I will hope to have a pretty decent defense. That's if the recruiting is going to be nice this year. Who knows? Because a lot of them games, we struggled a lot for no reason. Most of just due to me also throwing interceptions with my quarterback. But that's not the point. The point is, the defense should be should have been a lot better. I really think that they should have been like a B minus if we wouldn't have lost a lot of the players that we did. But that's neither here nor there, man. I'll give you more updates in the next upcoming video. Hopefully, I can get these out a lot more as the month goes on. I this is literally my first. I think this is my first video for the month, dog. And it's the twenty first. That's not good. But hey, I'm gonna get back on it though. I'm gonna feed y'all. I'm gonna make sure I get y'all right, man. I cannot sleep on y'all. I can't. I can't. Cause y'all like this shit. So why not? But that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna get right with you. Pretty, pretty soon. Like literally, pretty soon. I'm dead serious. Peace and love, y'all. Stay blessed. Stay dangerous. Mind your business. Watch yourself and over your loved ones. See you on the next one.